Hello everybody, um, I'm back today with um, a couple cards. I'm going to show a couple easy cards. I don't know, can you see that? See my screen? We're going to use Elegant Edges today and we're going to make a shape card um, for those that do not have a gypsy. I know not everybody has one and um, you know, not everybody needs one. So I'm going to show you that you can make a shape card as well. And any kind of cartridge that you might have that has a, a base like this, a, a solid base and a frame that fits over it, you can turn that into a shape card. Anything. Just think outside the box, think creatively, and you can, um, you can come up with something. So I'm using this one right here on page 37. I'm using this frame right here cut at I think it's four and a half inches on my Cricut Expression. I don't have a you know E2 or Imagine or anything like that. I just have the simple simple machine. And then I'm using the shadow base over here. It's one of these two. It's the one without the fancy cutting on it. So it's just a simple shadow. Or wait, hold on. It's this one. And this frame. This frame. This one. And that one. Cut it four and a half inches. That's what I did. Page 37. And let me show you what you do. I'm going to try to move along quickly and I'll probably just keep this very simple but obviously you would embellish and I got this wet oh that's okay okay so here it is this is what that shape looks like when you cut it out okay I cut it out of the same color you can obviously do whatever colors you like do separate colors do um, you could do what do you call it? Pattern paper. This is the second thing we're going to do here. I got a lot of stuff going on here and I've got wet stuff. So, so what I do is I use my scoreboard. Now if you don't have a scoreboard, you don't need a scoreboard, you can use your paper trimmer to make your score line of where your, um, your card is going to open up. Okay. So this is kind of how we want our card to be, like this. And so I'm going to make a score mark along the back one, okay? And I want to make that score mark where you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm going to use this here as a guide. And I see there, if I go along the half inch mark here, it's going to be back there. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to use my little Fiskars embossing tool that I've had forever. Works great for this tool. Okay, so there you see that I have an, a score mark. Okay, I'm going to fold along there. Okay, because that's what's going to enable my shape card to open and close right there. And so that's where we're going to add the adhesive up here. So let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> Thanks for your good wishes. I do feel better today. I'm still not all the way 100%, but better. I haven't taken any antihistamine today, so that's good. It kind of makes my stomach upset, probably because I don't eat enough during the day. But there you go. Shape, card, okay? So see, you can do it without. Now, what I want to do is I want to add this cute little crocodile. Now, I'm not sure what I need to do so you can kind of see what I did to this. All right. I am um, on Blitzy right now. They are selling some of my favorite um, 
crafty type things. Two of them being the paint dabbers for under $2.99. What did I say? $2.25 or something like that? It's crazy. And then that's a crazy good price. So I'm probably going to be getting maybe, I only want six more. Okay, because I only have room in my little container for six more, so I'm trying to be good. And the other thing is something that I have a lot of too, and it's these pearls, perfect pearls. And I'm going to show you these two colors right here. Now, I must have, I think I have three sets. Let me see, hold on. I'm just looking over here. I have any more in my drawer where I keep them because I thought I had more than that. Not that that's not enough because it is. It's plenty. They go a long way. They come when you buy them in those little sets that you see there. You get four, four in the set. Not not these, but you know something like that. And then you get the perfect medium. And you get the, the little brushes, okay? And so I'm going to show you what these things do. Okay, couple things. You can do lots of stuff. You can be really, really creative with um, with these powders. So let me just show you for example. And I use my craft mat with these. Okay, you can make. You can um stamp, say this little image here. I have these cute stamps I got at Michael's in the summer. They were from, what are they called? Sandy Lion is the brand and they had all these cutesy, these are perfect for kids scrapbook pages and kids cards. So I chose the little alligator because he's just so cute. And I chose this green color to stamp on. And you take your perfect medium This also works with um, Versamark, okay, but it comes with the perfect medium, so if you don't have Versamark, that's okay. So all I did was stamp it down on my paper. Okay, so there you see the image. Now, I'm going to open up this one. It's called Forever Blue, and I don't know which set this one comes in. Um, you just have to kind of guess there on the website. And I don't remember. I've had these for a very, very long time. So watch this. This is so fun. You take the little brush and you just kind of... It's very messy. You don't have to be neat about it or anything. You just kind of go over it. I'm just trying to go over the outline. Okay. Then I'm going to take the sour apple. I know this one does not come in a set because I got that one at the expo. And you just take it, just put it where you want. I wanted this to be his scales. This stuff lasts for a very long time because a little goes a long way. Then you take the dusting brush and look at this. Just move it around. Okay, now this is set by water is what makes it permanent. So what you can do is just take, say, a... If you have a, a mini mister or any other kind of mister, you just kind of mist it in the air and just kind of run it through. Okay, or you could take Perfect Pearls and use that to set it. Any kind of water will set it. All right, and so what I did was I cut it out. Now, notice the difference between this one and this one. Okay, this one was with Versamark and this is with that Perfect Medium. So see, it came out a whole lot brighter, and I just went around and cut him out and gave him some googly eyes, and I'll save this guy and I'll use him. 
and another card. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him here, okay? And I'm going to create a background now for my card. And I should have done it before I, you know, put the card together, but that's okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to take this. This is just um, from Michaels. I got it on clearance. It was when they had those Ditto brand, I guess, uh, maybe they were, they were Hampton Art stamps. I'm taking the Perfect Medium again. Okay, and I know that the window is here, so I want to create kind of like a background. So it looks like he's sitting in some some flowers or some reeds or weeds or whatever, you know, where alligators and crocodiles hang out. And it's kind of, oops. Yeah, it's good to do this before you put your card together. So there you can see that that's going to be my background. So I'm going to use a darker green this time. This one comes in one of the sets. I'm just tapping it so we don't get a big mess. I'm just going to use the green. Forever green. And I'm just going to put it over. That was just so cool. It's like magical the way it looks. This is great for creating embellishments for your scrapbook pages. So pretty. Um, when I learned to do this, I learned um, maybe a couple years ago from Jennifer McGuire, and she showed how to do this. And so I took some bubble wrap and I created some em embellishments with the bubble wrap. I made the impressions with the bubble wrap, and so there we go. Okay, so now I can take, say, I don't want to wet it too much right now because I don't have a heat tool. I miss my heat tool, guys. I am really, I cannot wait until it comes in the mail. But um, I could just take a little bit of this Perfect Pearls and just set it. Just a little, just one squirt for now. We'll do, just to set it. Okay, and then that's going to be the background for my little guy, like he's sitting there in the reeds. Okay, and I think I'm going to pop him up. And then after this video, I'm going to come back with another one with something else that you can do with these perfect pearls. There's a whole lot. I could do a whole series on perfect pearls. And if you've never been to Blitzy and you're watching this for the first time, you just go to the site using the link that is down at the bottom and then um, you set up your own account and then when, if and when you decide that you want to place an order, um, then I would get $10 credit to shop and then you could do the same. They would give you a code that you could share with your friends on Facebook, by email, Twitter, all different ways. Um, and then people could, you know, join up and then you would get $10 whenever they decide to place an order. So it's cool. This is um, kind of off. His eye fell off. Did you see that? Poor thing. I'm an eyeball. Let's, let's put some of this liquid glue. And then I'm going to stamp down here because he looks kind of like he's glum. He looks kind of blue. He looks sad. So I decided to use 
from the Kids Incorporated stamps from Scrappy Moms. Scrappymoms.com. Gotta love them. If you've never seen, beware. Their stamps are so cute. So cute. They're probably my favorite. Favorite, favorite. I love the fonts and they're like really nice and thick and just really cute. So, so he looks sad. So this is a cute card to save. You know, if you want to cheer your, your little one up or for whatever reason, if they're sad. Okay. So there's Smile. So cute. And then, it's a little late, but, oh, that's my timer. Okay, Adrian. Got a few minutes. Okay, sweetheart. I got him on the timer for the computer. Okay, and so, you know, you can just embellish this however you like and um, I mean I would definitely do more to it maybe add some faux stitching around the edges but I just wanted to show you one of the things that you could do and how you use um, these perfect pearls if maybe you were not familiar with that okay so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one bye